Hey, 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 it's Friday. Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 8th, 2019. So, hey, guys, Friday. Everyone loves a Friday, right? In fact, just the word Friday sometimes makes people smile. <laughs> Yesterday, we had kind of a, a, well, a nasty day, but it wasn't one that was unexpected. Um, we did have some unexpected news that really sent the market reeling um, further than um, originally um, it looked like would, would occur. First off, we had um, economic director come out and say the U.S. and China are farther away from a trade deal than um, I think everyone was hoping. And uh, then the president um, ended up moving his meeting with um, with a Korean leader, kind of setting that back a little bit. And so just that uncertainty, political uncertainty, is one of the hardest things to trade because we know as that, as that um, Washington spin um, in the news cycle just spins out and regurgitates this information, it, 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 it raises um, all kinds of concerns uh, with traders and makes it very, very difficult to trade because we know just the very next news story could flip it the other direction. So uh, makes for some challenging uh, challenging price action. But here's the good thing that happened yesterday. First off, if you remember, I mentioned that this level, 250, was going to be a critical level. We need to hold on to that level. And even if we were to drift just slightly lower, uh, as long as we kind of hold in this area of price support, we're probably going to be okay overall in the market. But as you can see yesterday, with the, we pushed down into that level. The bulls did a great job stepping up, defending that level, driving the market back up. Now, right now, as I record this this morning, we're looking at a gap down open to come back down and test yesterday's lows and possibly even this key support. So we'll have to watch that closely. But I got to tell you, I, I, I think the bulls are tenacious enough. They will fight here unless there's more news that comes out that is... Um, you know, uh, fuels those, fuels the bears. Um, the bulls have been so darn tenacious. Um, a, a hold here just seems likely to me. Um, and, it, and I would say it doesn't have to hold necessarily here. I'd like it to see it hold there. It could, it could pull all the way back down into here looking. So we have this big open range where we could pull back into and still have a really good opportunity in the market. So Let's watch that closely. Now, of course, um, I'm going to uh, be much happier if the bulls defend this area and we bounce off of here. But all we can do is watch and wait. And I got to tell you, um, um, you know, after such a big run, we, we it should not have been a surprise. I've been talking about this almost every day um, that we were due a pullback. We were due a rest. And um, the fact that that's finally happening, um, I think, personally, is a good thing that we're getting that pullback. That's a healthy market. We cannot go up straight up because um, that creates... Um, um, an imbalance that can create some heavy selling um, in that situation. So another great scenario that could play out here is if we just kind of slip into a consolidation and go sideways here for a while. And a good week or so, two weeks of consolidation wouldn't hurt us at all either. Just a nice little resting pattern um, for us here in the market. So we'll have to wait and see. And, and by the way, that's not odd. You can see even in great bull runs, if we take a look at 20, um, 2017, even in these great bull runs, look at these long consolidations that go nearly a month, just kind of tripping along sideways. That doesn't mean that there's not good trading. There's usually good trading in those patterns. So a consolidation is not odd and uh, could be a, actually a very healthy thing for the market. So either one of those scenarios would be fine. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see those bulls, or excuse me, those bears really get ravenous here and eat their way all the way back down breaking these major support levels. So 
Let's keep an eye on that and watch it closely. Now, I got to tell you, after such a big run up, I am largely sitting on the sideline and pretty comfortable in sitting on the sideline and honestly do not see a need to get in here and do battle. Um, We're heading into the weekend, the uncertainty of a weekend, the additional risk of a weekend. I'm pretty content to just not add any additional risk as I move into this weekend. Um, We'll come back Monday capital uh secure and i'll be much better prepared uh, to um uh, view this market and, and maybe take uh take some additional trades so not going to worry about it too much today and um we'll largely kind of take the day off i guess not looking or wanting to add additional risk let's take a look at the um spy here real quick spy as you can see also held on this support level that i marked yesterday this nice little support level in here that's what we want to see and I do once again think we could drift down into this range and still be okay um, in this market. So no big particular worries here right now. We're looking good, just a market pullback. Let's hope those fears don't creep up um, anymore or, and that the news cycle stays a little bit calm as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also holding that support level, doing just what we wanted yesterday, pulling back into that key level not quite making it there looks like it's going to gap down pretty close to where it's low yesterday we're going to need to see those bulls defend in this area and once again if we were to slip back into this congestion area i don't think that would cause um too much uh, damage, technical damage to the chart. So we'll want to watch that. And by the way, that would really be nothing more than a pullback toward that 50 day moving average, a pullback toward that 50 day moving average, finding support in there. Uh, that wouldn't be um, a major concern or problem to me. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also holding up well and actually doing better than the other indexes, showing some strength here yesterday bouncing up nicely and holding above a really important support level and i think it's going to be important that iwm holds above this support level but a pullback um, into this area holding in this range right here i think we're okay just a little bit of, we could dip just a tiny bit lower and bounce right off of there but we're looking pretty good here in iwm and there's no major threat here at least at the moment let's take a look at the vix now the VIX perked up yesterday, started to look like it was gonna get really ugly for a second, uh, bumped up here and hit this price resistance area in the chart, and then the bull stepped in defending that support and we dipped back down. So with this morning's gap down, we would probably expect this to pop back up toward this area here. Watch that closely, if we start to break out of that area and break this downtrend we could have a little bit of worry coming into the market which brings in additional volatility and that can sometimes happen as we head into a weekend when there's uncertainty out there hopefully those bulls will step up and defend i largely expect them to do that they've been very very tenacious so i don't think there's a tremendous concern here but there is reason for caution and reason to pay attention to what uh, what goes on here in, on the fear side of the market. Let's take a quick look at T21. 22 t21 22 is that area where I have been the most concerned in suggesting that market pullback. And at one point yesterday, we uh, T2122 was all the way down here, but that big rally back at the end of the day, the day moved us up substantially. Uh, gap down this morning will likely bring us back down into here, and that's okay. Um, that's a good place that that gives us plenty of opportunity then to rally from. Also gives us the opportunity that we could continue lower. So we'll have to wait and see which side of the market, the bulls or the bears, um, have the biggest amount of energy after this morning gap and we'll have to watch that closely remember if you're thinking short don't chase the, the morning gap wait and see 
if uh, sellers will actually support that gap or if the bulls are going to step in and really defend pushing us up off of that gap. So watch that close this morning. Don't try to assume or predict what the market wants to do. Let's watch and wait for that price action to give us those clues and then we follow along as traders. Let's take a... Um, take a look at the economic calendar today we get a real break here today u.s economic calendar really nothing going on we have a little fed speak going on in the baker hughes rig count which wouldn't move the market around so there's really not much going on there that we have to worry about at all and then on the earnings calendar we have a break as well with only 52 companies reporting earnings today um one of the probably most notable uh, would be Hasbro uh, reporting today. It looks like that one missed pretty badly this morning. Gapping down, Hasbro gapping down. Um, <laughs> on the other side of things, Mattel at the end of the day yesterday actually produced a good earnings report. So Mattel went higher, Hasbro falling. Um, kind of offsetting each other maybe a little bit but um, or as those earnings continue to roll out obviously we want to stay um, on top of those and focus on on those earnings reports let's take a um, um, a, a look at some trades here um, that could be setting up but before we do that I would like to um, ask you guys to do me a favor and that is to click that subscribe button on YouTube uh, click that follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, um, I do these um, uh, to, not, to not make money on them. Uh, my purpose for, for these YouTube videos is, is, is to truly help traders do a better job with their trading. And um, I do appreciate all of you who support this channel by clicking those thumbs up buttons and taking the time to comment. I know that's kind of a hassle, but... Um, I, I do appreciate you doing that very, very much. And if you can help me out with that, um, it helps these algorithms show these videos to more folks and we can reach more people and help more folks in trading. Traders helping traders. That's what this is all about. So thank you for everyone who takes the time to support uh, the channel. You guys are the best. I truly appreciate it. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that um, are still showing some pretty good signs and, and things that I want to be watching for. Um, I have a lot of price alerts set um, in the market right now and some really good patterns out there that are um, looking pretty darn good. Um, one of those places... Um, um, I looked, um, Home Depot has a really nice pullback here, really constructive pullback going on in the market. And by the way, this is a fairly normal pattern. Stocks will move up and pull back. So we get this move up, we're getting this nice little pullback. You can see I've set an alert here on the chart and I may actually move that alert lower depending on how this price action continues to develop. But Home Depot, um, pretty good signal here um, in the market looking pretty good. Good. Also seeing some great stuff in some of the consumer defensive sectors, um, which would be normal in a market pullback. Um, MDLZ, MDLZ, beautiful chart, breaking out yesterday, um, showing good signs, may actually be changing its tr trend trajectory here, moving on up. But don't be surprised if this still consolidates over toward the trend but looking really really good here um, nice breaking out um, has some um, additional resistance above before it reaches a blue sky breakout but looking really really good and this is one of those consumer de defensive stocks where folks will tend to gravitate a lot of times in uh, in areas of market uncertainty, they want the nice dividends and some of those uh, defensive type stocks. So that's looking pretty darn good, one you want to keep an eye on. Also, I think Coca-Cola is looking pretty darn good. Coke breaking its downtrend here uh, this, uh, this week, moving up nicely, and then giving this little tight consolidation for a couple of days and popping through. Uh, so Coke may not be quite ready to just rip roar to the upside here but a little bit of a little more consolidation is certainly possible a little more rest but a move up into here certainly looks possible 
with Coke after breaking that uh, downtrend and, and, and um, completing this wedge pattern that it had been in for a while. So looking pretty good. Another one of those consumer defensives. Uh, take a look at SQ. SQ, nice. After breaking above this resistance area, just kind of chopping sideways, moving over toward its trend. We want to watch this over here for that potential of a buy signal showing up in here for SQ to move on higher. And then one last stock here that I think is looking really, really good and holding up very well, Nike. Nike holding up very well here, holding this trend. And as you can see, it's got some resistance up here to deal with, but um, didn't participate really in the down move um, yesterday, has moved over toward this trend, looking pretty good. Watch, watch this for a potential entry in it, into this trade. Um, looking pretty good, good here overall in Nike. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. And you guys, if, if you're struggling as a trader, Remember this, you do not have to trade every day to be successful as a trader. As a matter of fact, there are times when I literally stop trading when the market becomes very, very challenging. I only want the easy trades. I want the, I want the simple stuff. Um, and I've made a career doing that. So never feel bad um, utilizing the lifestyle of that trader. We can take some time off. We can take a break. We've had great, great profits over the last month month is the bull run has just produced really really good results for us so there's no problem in taking a little bit uh, a time off sitting on the sideline putting your feet up for a little bit and not engaging in a battle in, in uncertainty um, heading into a weekend so consider that and also remember if you're struggling as a trader you know continue to study work really hard at it believe in yourself because I can tell you it is very worth it when you get the opportunity opportunity to trade for a living. Everyone, I want to wish you all the best. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great week.